Here's a video on O-rings and more specifically how to measure O-rings. Say you have an air tool that is leaking air somewhere. Most likely it's an O-ring and it's actually fairly easy to repair and really cheap when you order O-rings by size instead of ordering say a repair kit for a boss stitch or porter cable or whatever nailer you may have. Usually it's twenty, thirty, forty dollars for a kit to repair an air nailer, and that usually doesn't even do all the O-rings in a kit. Usually you got to order a trigger kit or a piston kit or exhaust kit or whatever it may be that is leaking. So I did some research a few years back online and in books and learned for myself how to measure O-rings and order O-rings myself and saved lots of money usually you can get 50 to 100 of a certain size o-ring for just a couple dollars so in the end you'd have enough o-rings to repair your nailer 50 times for what it costs or less than it costs to just buy the kit that somebody else puts together say the company a couple things about o-rings is there's different types Buna N, Viton silicone EPDM and others and I may have mispronounced some of them I'm not a speech professor but I get mine from McMaster car and they actually have a very informative website that tells about what each type is good for what locations where to use them and the different temperatures and other resist chemical resistance and everything about each different o-ring very nice site just to look at and read uh, that's where I order mine from. They're cheap. It's an industrial supply place and they usually have pretty high quality parts. There's also a thing called a durometer. That's a hardness. You know, it's, they compare it to a rubber band, pencil eraser, shoe heel, and they also explain that and give examples and the correlating number to that hardness. They come in round, square, X or double seal and they also make backup o-rings so you have quite an option when you're ordering and that's what you're paying for actually when you order a kit somebody else to think for you kind of where if you just do a little bit of work you can save a lot of money now I got into this and started doing a lot of air nailers and other stuff and actually repaired it for friends for a few dollars here and there so I actually bought two tools one is this cone and if you can see it, it starts out real small and goes down in steps and at the bottom there's these little notches so what you do is you first line your o-ring up in the notches and find one that fits it's loose there and it fits right there so we know then there's a correlating scale all the way up the cone and you just drop it on put it down till it stops falling and is even and then you can read the number I doubt the camera is going to pick it up but it says 120 or I'm sorry 020 for that o-ring and now you know the size and you can go to the store and just ask for it or order online I think there's even some sellers on eBay that are pretty cheap with this and bigger ones is same thing you find your notch that it fits in which happens to be this one and then once you find your notch you drop it on top bring it down and you gotta make sure it's lined up right which is hard to do with one hand right now I need a tripod and once you get it lined up, you read the number, and it says 240. So now you know this size of this o ring. This is a bigger one. I forget what it's even for. One of the seals on an air nailer. So this is a pretty accurate, neat little cone. I think it was about 15 bucks, if I remember right. Not positive. There's also this slide rule type thing which has the same notches in the end that you get the size from and once you have the size get 
the size and you put it on the little pegs and this is where the slide rule in my opinion kind of lacks is if you see it can be like a rubber band so then you read the number down here but if you you have to know what pressure to put on it to know because as you can see the numbers move fairly easy and it can be a variety of them usually you stretch it fairly tight and that's your number so the scale is in my opinion a little less accurate but it does more sizes if it's too small you can lay it on here Oops, sorry lay it on there and get the size and it also does very big ones you can reach down here and go all the way up and then slide it out to get your o-ring size and most of the sizes come in what's called the AS 568A dash numbers and basically that tells you your ID, OD and width so that's how you use the tools they even make I don't even know if you can see this, this is the smallest one I have I think it's an 001 is a dash number for that and it's itty bitty there's a finger for reference it just is small um, that's that I've put together some kits for different O rings for different nailers you just keep them in plastic bags labeled so that I know what's what this little case I have I put together for a Ford 7.3 diesel I have which is known to have o-ring leaks especially after they switched the fuels years ago and it just has the different o-rings these are all Viton o-rings which are fuel resistant and oil resistant and you know once again you just find your find your slot that it goes in stick it on put it down until it doesn't move anymore and read the slot which is 211 and as you can see I got it marked 211 turbo pedestal large o-ring um, not much more to it than that they're fairly easy to measure and you can save a lot of money doing it yourself not much to know about them once you learn just the basics air nailers are a big one that this is one kit for a boss stitch stapler and nailer and as you can see hopefully is there's roughly about a dozen o-rings in here maybe a little bit more um, I don't think this does the trigger for that I think this is just the actual gun all the o-rings in that besides the trigger this kit probably cost me I'm just gonna take a guess at maybe a dollar less than that most likely but to order online would probably be thirty dollars which is pretty good savings now I had to buy o-rings and packages of 50 or 100 so I did spend more than that but I do have all the other o-rings and most nail guns use similar size you may have to buy one or two different numbers packages but a few different sizes and you'll have a good assortment you can also buy assortments um, I have a few of them these in my opinion most most of them are fairly we'll just say cheaper quality um, but they do give them a good assortment as you can see so these are probably the most common ones as they figure out and as you can see they have the notches too and then their part number and the AS568 dash number so you can buy these also some call some are better quality than others um, I used to buy these and then try and match them up and for the most part they work pretty good but I have a decent assortment of actual o-rings now so if you have any questions please ask below and I'll do my best to answer um, also if you have any advice on videotaping feel free to share it I'm always looking to improve and thanks for watching